Hello everyone, welcome to my very first video in this contest and I, to be honest, I'm pretty excited and looking forward to this competition. So in order to have the most fantastic video, I decided to go to read an article on National Geographic about global warming. So let's get started. What is global warming explained? The planet is heating up and fast. Glaciers are melting, sea levels are raising, clown forests are dying, and wildlife is scrambling to keep pace. It has become clear that humans have caused most of the past century's warming by releasing heat, trapping gases as we power out more lives, called greenhouse gases. The levels are higher now than at any time in the last 800,000 years. We often call the result global warming, but it is causing a set of changes to the Earth's climate or long-term weather patterns that varies from place to place. While many people think of global warming and climate change as synonyms, scientists use climate change when describing the complex shifts now affecting our planet's weather and climate systems, in part because some areas actually get cooler in the short term. Climate change encompasses not only raising average temperatures, but also extreme weather events, shifting wildlife populations and habitats, raising seas, and a range of other impacts. All of those changes are emerging as humans continue to add heat trapping, greenhouse gases to the atmosphere, changing the rhythms of climate that all living things have come to rely on. So what will we do and what can we do to slow this human-caused warming? How will we cope with the changes we've already set into motion? While we struggle to figure it all out, the fate of the earth as we know it, coasts, forests, farms, and snow-capped mountains hangs in the balance. First, we need to get a better understanding about the greenhouse effect. The greenhouse effect is the, globe, is the warming that happens when certain gases in Earth's atmosphere trap heat. These gases let in light but keep heat from escaping, like the glass walls of a greenhouse, hence the name. Sunlight shines onto the Earth's surface, where the energy is absorbed and then radiates back into the atmosphere as heat. In the atmosphere, greenhouse gas molecules trap heat, some of the heat, and the rest escapes into space. The more greenhouse gases concentrate in the atmosphere, the more heat gets locked up in the molecules. Scientists have known about the greenhouse effect since 1824, when jo Joseph Fourier calculated that the Earth would be much colder if it had no atmosphere. This natural greenhouse effect is what keeps the Earth's climate livable. Without it, the Earth's surface could be an average of about 60 degrees Fahrenheit or 33 degrees Celsius cooler. In 1895, the Swedish chemist Savante Arrhenius discovered that humans could enhance the greenhouse effect by making carbon dioxide a greenhouse gas. He kicked off 100 years of climate research that has given us a sophisticated understanding of global warming. Levels of greenhouse gases have gone up and down over the Earth's history, but they have been fairly constant for the past few thousand years. Global average temperatures had also stayed fairly constant over that time and to the past 150 years, though the burning of fossil fuels and other activities that have emitted large amounts of greenhouse gases, particularly over the past few decades, humans are now enhancing the greenhouse effect and warming Earth significantly and in ways that promise many effects, scientists warn. So aren't temperatures changes natural? Human activity isn't the only factor that affects Earth's climate like we have been supposed over the past few decades. Though 95% of scientists predict that human activities is the main culprit leading to global warming and climate change. But there are also some factors that affect our Earth's climate, like volcanic eruptions and variations in solar radiation from sunspots, solar wind, and the Earth's position relative to the sun also play a role, so do large-scale weather patterns such as El Nino. But climate models that scientists use to monitor Earth's temperatures take those factors into account. Changes in solar radiation levels as well as minute particles suspended in the atmosphere from volcanic eruptions, for example, have contributed 
only about 2% to the recent warming effect. The balance comes from greenhouse gases and other human-caused factors such as land use change. The short time scale of this recent warming is singular as well. Volcanic eruptions, for example, emit particles that temporarily cool the Earth's surface, but the effect lasts just a few years. Events like El Nino also work on fairly short and predictable cycles. On the other hand, the types of global temperatures fluctuations that have contributed to ice ages occur on a cycle of hundreds of thousands of years. For thousands of years now, emissions of greenhouse gases to the atmosphere have been balanced out by greenhouse gases that are naturally absorbed. As a result, greenhouse gas concentrations and temperatures have been fairly stable, which has allowed human civilization to flourish within a consistent climate. Now, humans have increased the amount of carbon dioxide in the atmosphere by more than a third since the Industrial Revolution. Changes that have historically taken thousands of years are now happening over the course of decades. Well, I've just been discovered, I've discovered that climate change is not, the, t- the change in the temperatures of the earth is not the matter, but the matter is the speed. For example, 100 years ago, scientists predict, had predicted that our world will increase by 1.5 degrees Celsius at the end of 2100. But recently, scientists have discovered that just 10 years from now, the temperatures of the Earth will increase by 1.5 degrees Celsius. So the matter is the speed and the time that the temperature get fluctuated and changing. So why does this matter? Why does this climate change problem matter to our humanity, to, to animals and to plants? Let's find out in this column. The rapid rise in greenhouse gases is a problem because it's changing the climate faster than some living things can adapt to. Also, a new and more unpredictable climate poses unique challenges to all life. Historically, Earth's climate has regularly shifted between temperatures like those we see today and temperatures cold enough to cover much of North America and Europe with ice. The difference between average global temperatures today and during those ice ages is only about 9 degrees Fahrenheit, about 5 degrees Celsius, and the swings have tended to happen slowly over hundreds of thousands of years. But with concentrations of greenhouse gases raising, Earth's remaining ice sheets such as Greenland and Antarctica are starting to melt too. That extra water could raise sea levels significantly and quickly, and as a result, more extreme floods and flash floods, wildfires can be caused. That extra water could raise sea level significantly and quickly. By 2050, sea levels are predicted to raise between 1 and 2.3 feet as glaciers melt. As the mercury raises, the climate can change in unexpected ways. In addition to sea levels raising, weather can become more extreme. This means more intense major storms, more intense major storms, more rain followed by longer and drier droughts, a challenge for growing crops, changes in the ranches in which plants and animals can live, and loss of water supplies that have historically come from gl- glaciers. So that's it, all about global warming. From this, you can learn about the effects, about what causes climate change, mostly from human activities, like the burning of fossil fuels, or running vehicles, factories, um, some chemical gases, greenhouse gases like carbon dioxide, methane, or other substances released into the atmosphere, and causing the Earth's climate to rise at an alarming rate and it can result in devastating ways. For example, more ice sheets and glaciers are start to melting to to melt at Greenland and Antarctica and their sea level are rapidly raising, causing more extreme floods and especially more extreme weather events happens like more long and drier drowns and something like that.
it can also affect our health as well because if the climate and if the air is affected more pollution can happen like air pollution and it can affect our respiratory systems and cause heart diseases cancers or asthma so just f- name some of the most devastating and destructive effects of global warming on our civilized people so that's just it if you have any more questions just comment down below about climate change i'll see you in the next videos bye bye